my god. <laughs> What's up guys, so right over here I have my sargasm frogfish. As you can tell it grew a lot bigger. The tank is a little bit cloudy because I just added this nice new white sand. If you guys are wondering what I feed my sargasm frogfish, I have a few ghost shrimps around the tank and he would go after those and I have one feeder fish for him to go after. Most frogfish have this lure on their heads that actually attract fish and then they go and eat them. So in the wild, the sargasm frogfish actually hides in this type of seaweed called sargasm. In the wild, the frogfish would need the sargasm to survive from predators, but in the fish tank, he wouldn't need it. You can find the sargasm frogfish on beaches in Florida. A lot of times they get beached with the seaweed and you can go and save them. I'm gonna show you guys how I feed my frogfish and it's actually very, very cool. So make sure to keep watching and make sure to subscribe for more awesome content. Before I show you guys the frogfish eating, I actually have a new addition to the tank and it's very cool and I'm going to show you guys in just a bit. So right over here we have a lobster and he's actually very very small. Usually lobster shouldn't be kept with anything other than its food. I'm going to make sure to keep an eye on the sargasm frogfish. And for now, this lobster is still very, very small, so he won't be able to hurt the frogfish in any way. And also, they're Florida lobsters, so they don't have claws. If you guys want to name my lobster and frogfish, make sure to comment down below what you want to name them. And I'll see which comment fits them the most. So for my lobster, I usually feed him anything meaty, like a head of a fish, a small piece so he could finish that and if he doesn't finish it I would take it out of the tank so I wouldn't bring up my nitrates and now we're gonna get to me feeding my sargasm frogfish I hope you all enjoy make sure to leave a like and enjoy the video it's right there that little food guy it's probably gonna end up living here no no it's It's right on top of me. If he looks up at it, oh and it's so slowly, he's gonna go eat it. Oh, I went right next to him. No, he's not gonna eat it. It's not even moving. He got, oh, he's yeah, looking at him. Sees it. He's getting so. Yes! Oh my god. I told you. Oh my oh god. Oh my god, on camera. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yo, we have to move this small fish out soon. That fish is bigger than every other fish in the fish. Oh, I see the shrimp. He's <laughs> huge. That was bigger than every other fish. Oh my god, this guy's crazy. Oh. You should have done that in slow motion. It's gonna get so big so fast. Look at that. Look at his stomach. His stomach's bigger than him. Here, do it from the side. Let's see if it. Zoom in on it. That's crazy. I got these two blennies from my local beach and they're actually very very cool and friendly. They like to stay next to the frogfish but not too close to the point where they'll get eaten by him. And also if you guys have any questions or any ideas or anything to add make sure to comment down below and I'll help you guys out. So a little bit more about my lobster. My lobster is actually nocturnal which means he only like comes out at night. He's now in the back of the tank, under the rocks. 
and that night you would see him crawl out of its home and it's actually pretty cool because he searches around for food and that's when I feed him. So here's a little bit more information about my sargasm frogfish. You should get your frogfish used to eating frozen foods like frozen shrimps and frozen mysia shrimps. So whenever you don't have a livestock of let's say regular shrimps or any damsels or any fish in general for him to eat, you could feed him frozen shrimp. You could get him used to eating frozen food by feeding him every once in a while frozen and then he would eventually start getting used to it and he will actually start eating it. We got this guy to eat frozen shrimps pretty fast and I'll show you a video of that pretty soon so keep watching. Something pretty cool about the sargasm frogfish specifically, it has an extra pair of legs in the front which no other type of frogfish has and that's actually amazing. The frogfish can hold his balance a lot easier and he can move a lot faster than regular frogfish as well. For my frogfish, he loves eating saltwater ghost shrimp, but unfortunately they don't have that much nutrition. So you would have to feed him like fish every once in a while, like damsels, feeder fish, anything really. Most people feed them live damsels, and it's actually a great idea, but if you don't want to use too much money, you can feed them feeder fish. A good idea is to feed your ghost shrimps like 30 minutes before you feed your frogfish. So that when you feed him to your frogfish, it will be much more beneficial to him. When feeding your frogfish, you should make sure you're feeding him a fish that's not too big and not too small. If the fish you're feeding him is way too big, it could actually end up killing your frogfish and no one wants that to happen. So make sure you feed him the right size for your frogfish. And right over here, I actually fed my frogfish frozen shrimp. This was when he was much, much smaller. Look how cute he is. That right there in his mouth is a frozen shrimp and I'm actually going to feed him another one. So again, if you guys have any other questions, make sure to comment down below and I hope you all enjoy the rest of the video. Love it. 